Mass is offered today for Lawrence Aguilard, Jessica Ponton Chowdhury, and John Delaney. I'll offer the orations for those in public office. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We enter into these sacred mysteries. Let us call to mind our sin. I confess. Almighty God, God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Almighty ever-living God, in whose hand lies every human heart and the rights of peoples, look with favor, we pray, on those who govern with authority over us, that throughout the whole world, the prosperity of peoples, the assurance of peace, and freedom of religion may, through your gift, be made secure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. Solomon stood before the altar of the Lord in the presence of the whole community of Israel and stretching forth his hands towards heaven, he said, Lord God of Israel, there is no God like you in heaven above or on earth below. You keep your covenant of mercy with your servants who are faithful to you with their whole heart. Can it indeed be that God dwells on earth? If the heavens and the highest heavens cannot contain you, how much less this temple which I have built? Look kindly on the prayer and petition of your servant, O Lord my God, and listen to the cry of supplication which I, your servant, utter before you this day. May your eyes watch night and day over this temple, the place where you have decreed you should be honored. May you heed the prayer which I, your servant, offer in this place. Listen to the petitions of your servant and of your people, Israel, which they offer in this place. Listen from your heavenly dwelling and grant pardon. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Rons Responsorial Psalm. How loving is your dwelling place, O Lord, mighty God. How loving is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. My soul yearns and pines for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. How loving is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. Even the sparrow finds a home, and the swallow a nest in which she puts her young. Your altars, altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. How loving is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Incline my heart, O God, to your decrees 
and favor me with your love. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When the Pharisees, with some scribes who had come from Jerusalem, gathered around Jesus, they observed that some of his disciples ate their meals with unclean, that is, unwashed, hands. For the Pharisees, and in fact all Jews, do not eat without carefully washing their hands, keeping the tradition of the elders. And on coming from the marketplace, they do not eat without purifying themselves. And there are many other things that have traditionally observed purification of cups and jugs and kettles and beds. So the Pharisees and scribes questioned him, why do your disciples not follow the traditions of the elders, but instead eat a meal with unclean hands? He responded, well did Isaiah the prophet about you, you hypocrites, as it is written, this people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines human precepts. You disregard God's commandment, but clings to human tradition. We went on, he went on to say, how well you have set aside the commandment of God in order to uphold your tradition. For Moses said, honor your father and your mother, and whoever curses father or mother shall die. Yet you say, if someone says to father or mother, any support you might have had to be had to be from me, me in Gorban. Any meaning dedication dedicated to God. You allow him to do nothing more for the, his father or mother. You nullify the word of God in favor of your tradition that you have handed on. And you do many such things. The Gospel of the Lord. I would like very much to be able to create some masterpiece of uh, pulpit erudition, but the truth is I prepared the wrong readings. When I get back to my office, I'm going to see how it is I made that mistake. And it's particularly disheartening because I thought I did pretty good today. but. And I think I did with those readings. It's just they're the wrong readings, so I think I'll just sit down and swallow my embarrassment. name.
for the church. May she continue to grow and flourish under the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For politicians, may the Lord strengthen their resolve in defending human life from conception to natural death, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, elderly, and homebound, May Christ bring them comfort and companionship, we pray. Lord, hear our For our community of worship here and virtually, may God continue to strengthen our faith in him, we pray. Lord, hear our For the souls of the faithful departed, especially Lawrence Aguilar, Jessica Ponte Chare and John Delaney, for whom this Mass is offered. May God welcome them and all those who have gone before us into his loving embrace, we pray. Mighty God, our Father, please hear and answer these our prayers, both spoken and unspoken which we offer from our hearts through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O Lord, our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to Let the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and it just. It is truly right and just to give you thanks and raise to you a hymn of glory and praise, O Lord, Father of infinite goodness. For by the word of your Son's gospel, you have brought together one church from every people, tongue, and nation. And having filled her with life by the power of your spirit, you never cease through her to gather the whole human race into one. Manifesting the covenant of your love, she dispenses without ceasing the blessed hope of your kingdom and shines bright as the sign of your faithfulness, which in Christ Jesus our Lord you promised would last for eternity. And so with all the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, while with all the church, as with one voice, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who loved the human race and who always walked with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we're gathered by his love and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine 
that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death. At the Lord and profess your, your resurrection until, until you come. come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, in whom you seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son in whose body and blood we have communion. Lord, renew the church which is in Atlanta by the light of the gospel, strengthen the bond of unity between the faithful and their pastors, together with Francis our Pope, Gregory, our Bishop, Joel, and Bernard as auxiliaries of the whole order of bishops, that in a world torn by strife, your people may shine forth as a prophetic sign of unity and concord. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the apostles and martyrs, with St. Thomas Aquinas and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distresses. We await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. So the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live, made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Mighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your lives. Thanks be to God.